Warning, in this video, there will be mention of sexual assault. Proceed with caution. Hello everyone, my name is Kurt. You know, when I make these videos, I feel sorry for them. Not only the people I talk about have been murdered, but oftentimes they have forgotten, left in a ground with no name. Everything they've done in their life, every person they've ever interacted with, what school they went to, the job they did, their families, kids, everything just gone in a flash. That's why I like to talk about this. Even if their names aren't recovered, at least knowing how their stories ended can help. Anyway, let's talk about the Woodlawn Jane Doe. The victim wore a unique necklace, which looked handmade. In her possession, she had two brass keys. One is believed to be for a house. She also wore tan yellow jeans, a white shirt and high knee socks, which were multicolor stripes. A rubber sole was found near the body. It is believed to be worn by the victim. Throughout the autopsy, it was discovered that a large amount of a sedative drug was in her stomach. People believe that she was from a mental hospital and others think the killer drugged her with the sedative. Examiners measured and weighed the victim. She was between 140 and 160 pounds. She was 5 feet 9 inches tall. Her blood type was determined to be O positive and there was evidence that she had treatment from a dentist. The victim had three of her molars removed and had fillings for the rest of her teeth. One of her teeth was crooked and there was a poorly tattooed pair of letters, possibly initials, found on her left arm. The tattoo was two letters but it is believed to be JP. SS or JB. She had pierced ears and she had a scar on her upper right thigh. Not long after her body was discovered, fingerprints and dental information was collected. Her fingerprints are now in the national database as well as her dental records. Even though no matches have ever been made, many missing women across the United States of America have been ruled out. Too many to say in this video alone. A break in the case was announced in December 2015 by the National Centre for Missing and Exploited Children. After Baltimore Police received a tip, the explanation for the tattoo, which is believed to be JP, on her arm, was announced to possibly be the initials of a part of a city known as Jamaica Plains, where the victim may have lived. So after hearing all of that, I uh, might as well start to tell you guys some theories. There are quite a few theories out there, but I'll tell you one of them now. The Woodlawn Jane Doe was a runaway. She took her keys as a memory, and at one point ran into a man. This man hanged out with the Jane Doe for a while, and at one point asked the Jane Doe on a date. She rejected him, and long story short, the man drugged her, raped her, and killed her. But at the end of the day, anything could have happened. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This took a while to research, but it was worth it. Hopefully, one day, Woodlawn Jane Doe will reclaim her name. Good night.